everyone, welcome to 5 minutes practical programming tools. For this video, we will still discuss about the CMake. And we have two subtopics here. The first part is about the debug and release mode in CMake. For example, if you want to use Valgrind or GDB to debug your program, what options should you use in your CMake lists to build your project? The second part, in the second part, we will show you how to integrate other projects into your project by just modifying CMake lists conveniently. OK, let's start with the real examples. OK, let's start with the first example. Here, I have a directory called build debug, and I want to build the project which is called debug. And the first thing is to use CMake to generate make file. So I need to say make debug. And then make it. And if we check the original CMake lists or CMake options, We could say there is an option called say make build type. We could choose from non debug and release. Currently, we use debug mode. So in this way, if we we do it and use verbose equals to one, we could say that there is a dash g here. So in that way, we could use GDB to debug this program, to debug this executable. And run it. And to print out the path trees. And here, we could say that the error in this program, the problem happens at this line. Or we could add, also use Valgrind. Valgrind. To get those debug information. If we set this build type as release, Release, config and generate, and we use verbose equals to one. We could say that for the commands of the uh, C++, when we compile that program, there is no dash g here, so this is in release mode. In that way. If we use GDB or Valgrind to debug this, you could say here we could not get specific information for errors. This is for release pattern. So if you want to debug your program, just cite this say make build type as debug, and it's uh, really convenient for debugging. Let's say another example. Here we want to integrate this rapid JSON into our own project. What should we do? You could check it at here. The rapid JSON provides the <coughs> files for using CMake to build it. And if I I will do it from scratch to show you step by step. For example this is my directory for this project, and I just uh, git colon it. <coughs> yeah, let it finish. If I jump into this folder, 
you could say there is a file called uh, JSON config versions.cmake.in. If we check this file, it will provide some commands here. We will discuss the details for these commands at next video. But for this video, we just need to, to know there is a file about CMake. And we make another directory to build it. And CC make. Just uh, default options generate. Actually, we don't need to build it because the rapid JSON is uh, all, all the files in rapid JSON is in format of header. We could use it directly. The important file is this. Let's check it. For this file, it will provide. So, if we want to integrate rapid JSON into our project, we just need to provide this file to uh, CMake, and then we can find it. Let's do it. For example, here, this is my project, and it contains one main file. In this file, it is this rapid JSON. And if I want to build it, I just need to say make and so here rapid json founder headers is here and we make it oh say here although we could find this header we could not use it because in our CMake list, oh, let's check check it here. I use this beyond compiler to to do the server and developing. It is convenient to synchronize your your code from local machine to the remote machine. We just need to find a package rapid JSON required and then use target include directories. If we use this command, the variable defined here will be included into this target. It's uh, executable. So let's do it again. Yeah, it is built. It is built successfully. So why could we use this variable directly since we provide the since in this say make list in this not this is not say make list since in this file it provides some variables like uh, in this file in this file. So here, rapid JSON include directory, so we can use it conveniently. So that's it for today. Actually, it's really simple. If other project is this mechanism to expose their headers, we just need to find a package and use a specific directory variable defined in this cmake dot cmake file okay that's it for today see you next time